talking with John Goodman, and uh, I, don't, I don't know the silly game I'm playing about all those things I was going to lay on you. Uh, actually, I'm more interested in this. A part that might not, we wouldn't think of you of, particularly now because somebody's already played it and won an Academy Award for it, but uh, often actors are told, don't play anything too evil or too awful. It'll hurt your image, especially since everybody the phrase that's always used about you is nice guy, whether they know you or not. How would your Hannibal Lecter have been approached? He would have certainly eaten more people. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, besides uh, that, uh, would you, have, you, would know, you have I, loved to play that part? Yeah, sure. I, God. Would, yeah, I uh, I enjoyed Brian Cox's uh, Lecter as well in the Manhunter movie. That's right. We forget that character yeah. was in another film before that. Yeah. Uh, they were both very good. Very. Um, I was wondering how many ways there would be to play that. Very different. Kind of evil. A Lecter, a different Lecter for each movie. Yeah. It's kind of like the James Bond films. That's right. A piece I read about you said a curious thing. You said that. Um, well, for one thing, you said you were dared to go into acting. I don't know if that's a fruitful line to pursue or not, but you kind of started it on a dare. It was in high school. But what, what could the dare have been? I'll bet you're afraid to go on yeah. the stage. Yeah, uh, you chicken. Or yeah. guys will think you're a sissy if you go put on makeup. Yeah, or... you, uh, it was a good way to goof off and um, not have to go home after school immediately. And uh, there were plenty of girls in these plays and the, the yeah. spring musicals in high school. and. Uh, I just went with another guy, and he dared me to audition. You know, oh, you're chicken if you don't, and I got the oh, that role. Kind of thing. And um, yeah. it uh, kind of hooked me. People like you, as you know, and without knowing you, and I assume uh, after knowing you too, but they uh, do things. Yeah, I read a piece. It was kind of a touching moment, in which a total stranger at a bar just took out a picture of some friend of his and said, "You'd like this guy." Now I can't imagine that people would do that <laughs> to very many actors, and that. Perhaps to the interviewer, who said, everybody seems to think they know you. He said, but they don't know me. Now, in print, it was hard to figure out if you were just pointing out the obvious, that they haven't met you, or that there's a side of you that might startle them. I think I was just trying to be a little mysterioso to this guy. Uh, oh, yeah. It just it's, it was too good of an opening to pass up. Uh, when was the last time you struck someone in the face? Mm, that would be about eight years ago. Eight years ago, yeah. I would have thought four or five. But no, I uh, felt like it, but yeah. uh, I don't. I'd, I've never enjoyed fighting much. Can you can you sketch in the incident? Uh, I'd rather not. It's a little sordid, but well, it was it well, was down in New Orleans. Danny Aiello told about how he decked a guy on the bridge who flipped a cigarette at his wife and cut him off. There you go. Let me just ask you this: Was the okay? I was defending a nun. <laughs> Why? Huh? <Yeah>. Well, she <laughs> asked for it. I <laughs> 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 No, I, uh, I assume the provocation was. Uh, not, yeah, it was. Not, it was. Uh, it was justified, but it was. Uh, it was before I was famous. Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, I, I just, I, it was a situation I shouldn't have been in, and, and I was, and I felt bad about it afterwards. Was it, or do you get the kind of thing that the tough, screen tough guys got, like Mitchum and Bogart, guys in the bar, seeing you think you're tough? Let's we'll see if you really are. How about this? No, <laughs> if I, I can sense it coming. Um, you know, I hung around a lot of bars in my time, and you can you can almost smell trouble brewing. And uh, if, when it comes to, I just walk away, or, or just to get uh, away from I, it. I don't want anything to do with. It. I have too much. Uh, Bruce Willis told me one time when I started getting famous that uh, you can never hit anybody again for the rest of your life because they'll take everything. Uh, Mitchum said the quickest way to get over with is to break the finger because that'll usually discourage them. <laughs> God. Is, is it fun to be on the cover of the Inquirer as a squalid drunk and how drinking uh, yourself? Did you get I a laugh? Out I can't of that? think of a better uh, <laughs> better way to start my day. It's it hurts. It, it hurts have, my family. And and, and you know, you about five years, a, I'm going to have a daughter that reads. Yeah. Uh, I, there, have, there's nothing I can do about it. There was really no provocation from it. They just make these things up out of thin air anyway. It, on, I, I think two weeks ago, they had me swinging at a 13 year old boy. At at, uh, at Mardi Gras, yeah. Whereas in fact he was, he was much younger. Yeah, and he, where, he where had where the build of a ten-year-old, <laughs> lightweight. <laughs> so I carried him for a few rounds, and then I dropped him. Well, then I guess the Carol Burnett 
suit didn't have the chilling effect that it was no that one would hope for yeah they, they can uh, if it if I got even then you couldn't win if you wanted to spend years and millions maybe you'd have a shot but they get uh, yeah big boys in Washington DC I, I don't feel like <laughs> I, I don't feel like an impertinent and nosy person by talking about this sort of thing with you because you do and you have in print but there's one very touching thing you wrote where you said, seemingly seriously, not intending to put on the interviewer, I might be an alcoholic and I probably ought to at, take at a look the, at that and maybe spring for a shrink. I, I'm saying it so much more eloquently than you. I was uh, <laughs> uh, sitting in, the, in a bar in Mickey Mantles and I, somebody had bought me a, a shot which is this much Jack Daniels and I was sitting next to a beer and I was looking at the, both of the, these things and I had, there was another beer that somebody bought me piled up and I was just looking at them and I made the comment and I thought it would be taken in a different fashion than it was. Uh, oh, you really, th you said that then? Yeah. Well, because in cold print, it looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Oh God, the poor guy. I and so the magazine, try, trying to sell other magazines, uh, released that to uh, the National Daily and they, uh, from there, the Inquirer got a hold of it. And yeah. so, oh, I see. <laughs> here we are. Yeah. Drinking or eating shoe polish sandwiches and going to hell in a handbasket. Well, them as loves you, do they encourage you to be a little more restrained in uh, your weight, your smoking, and your drinking? Oh, just sure. To take three off the top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take the top three. Yeah. Um, yeah, my father died quite young, and uh, that usually has two effects: either you assume you're going to might as well do anything you want because you're destined <laughs> to die young, or the opposite, where you think I'm going to take better care of myself. Yeah. Well, my brother took very care, good care of himself. He's He's doing quite well. Yeah. Um, I haven't gotten around to it yet. But you will? Yeah. This has been wonderful talking to you. I think we've run almost entirely out of time. We'll do it again sometime. So, uh, should we meet here where there's a giant? Yeah. Can they pan over the there to see how they chose to decorate the set? The Scott and Zelda the bar. <laughs> so, yeah. Dorothy Parker lived in this hotel. Did she really? Yeah. Uh, you like that? Yeah, I sure do. Yeah. I was pictured her on 44th Street. The ghost of Dorothy Parker. Staggering Parker's. between the New Yorker and the Algonquin. Yeah. What a pleasure to meet you. <coughs> Thank you. And you even cough well Thank on you. The television. We've met before. When? 1982 at the oh, Burt Reynolds Dinner Theater. I was doing a show and you were coming with Charlie's on. You're right! But I, I didn't think you'd remember me. But I was doing a play uh, called The Robert Bridegroom. Yes! Oh! I knew I'd seen you somewhere before.